Spiridis here. Thanks for joining me for another Decide Your Destiny Daily Dose, designed to be fulfilled and rejuvenated in each present heartbeat. Decide to love your fate, to love that this opportunity has dawned on you, that mountain to climb, it's yours, it's up there, it's waiting for you to take first step. You've been trusted with this objective, you've been trusted with this goal, you have been trusted with this this challenge because there is belief in you, there's, there's abilities within you, there's skills within you, and you've been entrusted to take on this task. So love your fate, love the challenges, love the lessons that you learn, and be fulfilled and rejuvenated in each and every present heartbeat. And reveal the mystery within that truth, the mystery of being rejuvenated and present in each and every heartbeat. And the truth is that the only authority living true to your is, is living true to your heart. That's the only authority. It's not living true to someone else's heart, someone else's desires, someone else's opinions, someone else's thoughts, someone else's rules, someone else's you know idea of what your life should be or where you should go. Or it's living true to the to your heart is the only way. Living true to what is in your heart and what you desire and what you want. Your heart is the sing- signal that goes out into the universe. It's the radio, it's the, the sound signal, it's the frequency that goes out into the universe. And it's showing you the way to be. It's showing you to be grateful and present of each and every da-dum, 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 of each and every heartbeat. It's showing you the way. And all you have to do is listen to it, is to tune in, channel it, and actually understand it. And not always just listen to up here, or listen to out here, but listen to what's in here. And that's what you have to do. If you want to live fulfilled and rejuvenated in each and every heartbeat, that's what you have to do. And one another important point to finish on is to rid yourself of the guilt and the burden that you can't be joyfully fulfilled, that, that you don't have the right to be joyfully fulfilled, or you know, other people suffer, um, and because other people suffer, you know, then you got to kind of come down. You know, you got to bring your energy down. You got to bring. You got to get a bit lower and a bit more monotone, and a little bit. You know, just because other people are suffering and going through challenges, we all are. <laughs> That's all of us at different levels, at different at different capacities, at different times. You know, in different seasons, we all are. But to bring yourself down because another person's down, although it might seem like a bit of compassionate, or it might seem like you know, you're having a bit of heart there. It's actually really, really distracting to the person for where they can become, where they can go, and who they can become, because they're seeing you as this person, and then you're with them, and then they, and then you're going down, and it's, 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 it's not right. They need to see you as joyful, joyfully fulfilled. They need to see you going out there and conquering your mountain, and and making moves, and and. And, and inspiring other people and getting involved in life, getting in the thick of life. They need to see that because that is what will actually pull them out of the ocean, pull them out like a crane, pull them out of the depths. That's what will pull them out and up to open their eyes and open their vision, and open their mind to see a different way or a different perspective. And, you know, whenever in the past that I've been uh, down and out or just, just can't get through a slump or just, just bad attitude, bad way of thinking, looking at other people that have gone through that and overcome it and are positive, are happy, take care of their, their dress, take care of their clothes, take care of their, 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 their mental attitude, you know, and very strict with their, with their time, with what they dedicate, with, with who they spend time with, with, with what they do with their time, wanting to make a bigger impact on the earth, wanting to make a bigger impact in people's lives. Seeing that, when I was down in slumps, actually inspired me. It actually got me to the point of, I, not I want to be that person, but I want to be in the energy space in my own life that that person is also experiencing. I want to be making the moves that are similar to that person that I know will make my life all the better. And that's the point. That's what it is to actually look at other people, to actually be inspired and, and every, any time that you feel guilty, like, oh, I can't be too happy, I can't post a photo of me smiling because so many people are in misery or so many people are upset, or no, 
you got to post that. You got you to you got to post out to the world, out to the universe, that there is a way. There's a light at the end of the time. There's a joyful way. There is a way to live fulfilled. There's a way to live happy. There's a way to live inspired. There's a way to both challenge yourself, take on criticism, take on constructive criticisms, be flexible in life, and also be happy along the way in the journey. That's what your goal is, is to inspire your community, to inspire your tribe, to inspire your hut, to inspire the people around you. So don't ever feel guilty of that. So remember, understand that the mystery within that truth is that the only authority is living true to your heart. The only authority is living true to what's in here. And the heart is a signal. It's a signal out to the universe. It's showing you the way to be, to be grateful and to be present. And rid yourself of that guilt because we all need other people that we can be inspired from. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Share it around with anyone you know who maybe they do get guilty about being too happy or they get guilty when they get surges of happiness and joy and they don't want to share it out in the world because they're worried of offending other people. You know, and share it out with people who, who aren't maybe listening to the heart as much. And maybe they're just listening to what's up top or listening to other people in their area or listening to, to you know, other forces outside of themselves but not what's truly in their heart. Share this around with them. And as always, guys, remember, decide your destiny. Cheers.